Uh oh! You know, the nature of the game, dude. Sometimes I look like I, I know what the hell I'm doing. I can like pop off a little short little burst and pilot snipe, and then the next thing I look like. <sighs> really, don't, I really don't have much to say about that. I don't. Um. Uh, yeah. All right. What's up, YouTube? Today we are taking out the Ju87DU, which is the battle rating 3.3 .3, rank two version. It is the highest battle rating Stuka in the game. So that's why I wanted to take it out. It's got the most powerful engine of all of them. And it has the ability to take the gun pods, right? And these gun pods aren't just gun pods. They are MG151 gun pods. And basically, you know, after doing the, uh, the A36 video, where I, I did not take the gun pods. This time I wanted to take the gun pods and let's just hose some stuff down. We'll have some fun with it. Um, it's probably not going to be the most, you know, skill based s play you ever see here. I mean, that, that's kind of what the Stukas are limited to is a little bit of head on stuff, but it should be a lot of fun. We should see some stuff blow up nice and cool. So that's, the, that is the goal and stick around. We're going to do it. So, Go ahead and like, subscribe. Um, I'll, I'll walk you through about three three to five games, depends on how they go. And uh, we'll just have fun and blow some stuff up. So. I think I've done enough talking about it. We're going to just jump right in. Alright, so... It's sitting at 3.3. .3. What I'm taking, I'm taking the gun pods, I'm taking air target, and my turret is running uh, basically AP incendiary with the tracer. Um, I'll go ahead and tell you, at 3.3, you're going to struggle with the Stuka's performance. Um, there are just other vehicles at this battle rating that are just straight better than you now so it really kind of limits what you can do with it um so i wouldn't I, I tried to play this seriously a couple weeks back and try and see what i could do with it and i just found that i was just better off just running the gun pods and having fun with it and not overly worrying about what i could accomplish with it so be aware that you, when you play this Stuka, you're kind of limiting yourself to a particular role and a particular thing that you get to do in the game, which is uh, take head-ons, blow up interceptors, blow up bombers. But it sure is fun. I am looking for bombers, looking for interceptors that I can actually catch. And then we're just going to kind of dive our way down. No, no cool air raid siren sounding air break in this, in this variant, which is a little disappointing. Maybe I have a thing for bent wing planes, Corsairs and Stukas, because I just think they look, I just think they look great. I wish the gear folded up, but uh, we can't have everything. Probably if I was really doing my job, I would intercept the P-38, but we ain't doing my job right now. We're trying to we're trying to get some stuff to blow up right now. All right, pilot snipe. Not not a blowing up, but uh, I'll take it. All right, here here we go. I'm too much talking, not enough paying attention. That P40 is trying to intercept. You know what? You want to intercept me? Intercept me, bro. Not a good head on by me. Didn't get enough on target and locked up one of my cannons. But. Oh, I got nothing now. Oh, wow. 
Well, that's disappointing. Okay. I'm headed back to the airfield to get this jam resolved, but, but as you can see, I mean, like, I'm flying in a straight line. I have been flying in a straight line. I am not gaining any altitude, and my max speed is like 315 kilometers. That is horribly slow with this BR. So, hoard your speed, hoard your altitude, because once it's gone, it's gone. Really don't, I really don't have much to say about that. I don't know. Um, uh, yeah. Well, I, I, I just, I don't even know if I'm supposed to pretend that that other game happened or not. I just, I, just that landing. <laughs> I do so many, like, belly landings. Like, I don't even pay attention to gear anymore. In jets or anything. So, the fact that this thing has fixed gear just threw me off like and then I was like okay well use the brake well I think the brake is on the rear wheel and I didn't get that on the ground and then I was like okay fine I'll just nose it into the ground and so I finally got the propeller to snap and then when that happened it was still like hovering off the ground it wasn't actually grinding to a halt so by the time I got the nose down on the ground so that it would you know stop stop the plane I overran the airfield, and so I considered a crash landing. I'm, I'm so, like, that's so ridiculous. I'm so embarrassed. I mean, uh, what do you do? I guess you just... I guess you guys just leave me mean YouTube comments about it. That's that's what happens. Maybe I'll catch him. Oh, a wyvern. Now, that would be embarrassing for the wyvern if I ended up killing him. Um, but, I mean, that thing goes 650 on the deck. I go... 315 maxed out like pedal down so I don't think that's gonna happen that's a p38 actually lots of p38s well you know what we're gonna die in a fiery hail of gunfire here Let's see the trend what are we doing Matt you gonna get to me before I get to them I don't think so. Yeah, I burned up my guns last time. And I'm about to do it here. Where's that other P38? Where are you, Matt? That's not you, Matt. There's Matt. Well, you're compressing. And I can't roll. So what a pair we are here. There's still the P-38 still falling out of this guy. Let's see if I can kill my friend Matt. Got my last remaining barrel. And I'm obviously being shot down by someone. Well, oh, I'll go right there next to him. <laughs> oh, the P38 XP got me. <laughs> I guess it came back around. I don't know. All right, what have we learned? If we've learned to be a little bit more conservative on that trigger during the head-ons, because I thought the, I guess the. 151s don't get out there as fast as I thought they used to, so I'm gonna hold off fire and uh, till maybe they're like one and a half clicks out, one 1.2, because uh, I kind of want to like scare them with showing them like the the wall of lead coming at them, but I, I think I'm so slow <laughs> that it takes me forever to close the gap, and by that time my gun's jammed. So that's that's pro tip, I guess. Don't do it that way. 
All right, boys, we find ourselves in the next match. Um, still going to probably take some stupid head-ons, but maybe not hold down the trigger quite as hard. Um, DB7 got by me. This Havoc, what's he, what are you doing, man? You're trying to avoid me or get at me? All right, trying to avoid me. Good. I am uh, can't run anybody down. You know what? This guy's bombed, so he's fair game, and I can dive on him, which is key. Because this thing is slow, man. That is the biggest thing holding me back. As it is just slow. Well, Latin. I have no trigger discipline. Here we go. Oh. Got me a little snipe. Finally, actually judged the distance of the uh, cannons there. Yep, that was nice. That made me look competent. All right, here we go. This SB2C flirting with disaster. He's also trying to kill my bombers. And, oh. Yeah, I got more guns, man. They, those things can run gun pods, too. They are uh, extremely nasty to tangle with. Don't I don't recommend it, but that's the only option I have uh, available to me. Just to do a head-on, kind of. Uh, let's see if I can mix it up here on this Corsair. Every bit of altitude I give up, I know I'm not getting back, so that's like a huge consideration for me in this plane. But if I dive on the Corsair, I can then go after the DV7 afterwards, and I might help my 109 pal here. Oof. Rolls like a... Oh, 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 oh. Oh, my God, really? The whole flashing flaps thing just got... Oh, come on, I got this though right here. Come on. Yeah, come on. Try not to kill my pal. they connect they connect and you just evaporate it's really got to learn to lead a little bit further out they are just not as fast as I remember or maybe I just been playing too many 50 cows what is that? three kills is ridiculous thank you and he said thank you so I hate that I agree. I want to say yes, but it's the voice I picked. Launching an attack. I guess he's just using his guns to chew him up. We got Mr. Edward here. One of these two I'll uh, intercept. Oh. This will be a fun little get together uh oh you know the nature of the game dude sometimes I look like a freaking uh -oh, oh hold on sometimes I look like I, I know what the hell I'm doing I can like pop off a little short little burst and pilot snipe and then the next thing I look like what is it like? <laughs> alright mister that is a wild that is so wild one oh here we go and I don't even have time to narrate this damage anything did I? I snapped off of my oh he's trying to ram me bro <laughs> in 
my pal help me out, dude. That's awesome. Oh, that is fantastic. Awesome. That is wild. I. Freaking ace of the Stuka, dude. I got an ace of the Stuka. And I don't think I'm making it back to base. I'm burning up. I might as well just ground pound while I'm still alive. Use my one gear leg left. Roll around down there. You could argue it kept me from striking my prop, and thus is the most powerful part on the entire stupid. Not the gun pods. No. Gear legs, which killed me in my first game with it. But now has saved me. Completely redeemed itself. And redeemed me. Oh my gosh. You can't play in that, dude. You cannot play in that. Well, yeah, I'm not doing any better than that today uh, to get a, an ace and a Stuka and just that whole, like the habit trying to like run into me and it, that was so wild. That whole thing was wild. So give me a like, subscribe, YouTube. I, I, I can't promise craziness like that every game, but hang out. We'll get some other crazy.